here's a crate in it, just like you asked. Thank you so much, sir. Hey, welcome to our scene on Cretinism, congenital hypothyroidism. And it's going to be represented by this scene over here where the kid requests a crate in it, a crate in his ice cream, crate in it for Cretinism. So here we're gonna talk about the clinical findings seen in Cretinism, and we're gonna talk about causes at the end. So let's talk about the clinical symptoms. So the clinical findings seen in Cretinism can be remembered with the famous mnemonic of the six Ps, but we also have a visual representation of that over here. Let's talk about it. So we note over here he has a pot on his belly, a pot on his belly for pot bellied. Pot bellied is a finding seen in Cretinism, but his umbilicus is sticking out of the pot. It's going through the pot. This reminds us of the protruding umbilicus. We also note that he's very pale, for pale. And we also note that he's very puffy faced. He's very hungry. In the scene, his tongue is sticking out because he's very hungry. But for our purposes, it helps us remember the protuberant tongue. His brain over here looks underdeveloped. It looks a little bit unintelligent. As poor brain development is another finding in cretinism. And that's because thyroid hormone is required for normal brain and skeletal development. And of course, cretinism is also known as congenital hypothyroidism. And that's why we have this hippo over here with a thyroid. Hippothyroid for hypothyroidism. What are the causes of cretinism? So over here we see the mother, the mother of the baby, standing on the hippo with the thyroid. This reminds us that a cause of cretinism can be the maternal hypothyroidism. So there's going to be a severe hypothyroidism due to the antibody-mediated maternal hypothyroidism. Other causes of cretinism include, well that's what has, she has on her shirt over here, DID. D for dysgenesis of the thyroid. This is the most common cause in the US. I for iodine deficiency and D for dyshormonogenetic goiter, and this is commonly due to a mutation in thyroid peroxidase. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on cretinism, congenital hypothyroidism. Please subscribe to the channel, ask me questions if you like, leave your comments, and take care.